Okay. Well, Chris, we're going to take a quick break. I'm hosting this program this morning, all about you. I'm enjoying my conversation uh, with a nominee, with a Grammy nominee, record producer, Chris uh, Big Dog Davis, and we will be right back very shortly. Thank you. Yes, again, this is our Jonathan Small. I'm back here with my guest, Chris Big Dog Davis. He is a Grammy nominee, record producer. And Chris, could you kind of let people know exactly what is it like when you are nominated for a Grammy? It's a, uh, what I want to say, it's a surreal feeling. Mm -hmm. I remember the night, it was the Grammy uh, on TV. They had the Grammy uh, live concert and um, I was producing an artist called Floesis from Floetry, Natalie, and we had a listening section. And um, I went to sleep on the couch afterwards, and all of a sudden, my phone was going off like 60 times, buzzing. And there was people congratulating me, like, "Yo, I just heard your name mm -hmm. on 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 the uh, Grammy live concert. Uh, you and Mace has been nominated for a Grammy." I was like, "What?" Mm -hmm. I didn't believe it, so I woke up and I seen it, and I seen uh, our name in the category for best traditional R and B performance come up. Like so, uh, it was surreal, man. It's, mm -hmm. It was real interesting to really capture that feel. What you feel, it's hard to say, you mm -hmm. know, really. But I was impressed and happy. Mm -hmm. 